What type of functional group is this? Uh, is that basic? This one is, yes. Yes. What type of function? That means it has two different forms, protonated and non-protonated. What type of functional group is this? The whole H by itself. I'm sorry, the whole group. Carboxylic acid. Yeah. So this is not an alcohol. It's a carboxylic acid, and this is acidic. So it has two different forms. Mm -hmm. Also, so every amino acid, the N side can be protonated or deprotonated, and the carboxy side can be protonated or deprotonated. Now, on top of that, they also have side chains, and some of the side chains can be protonated or deprotonated. How can you tell which side chains are acidic? So, would we call this an acid or a base, or neither? A base. Yeah. And is this an acid or a base, or neither? It's an acid. Right. And some of the side chains can be acidic or basic or neither. So how can we tell which ones they are? Well, that information is in the table. Notice that here we have a column for the R groups. Well, we know the R groups are the side chains. Everywhere there's a dash, that means the side chain is neither acidic nor basic. Everywhere there's a dash, that means the side chain is neither acidic nor basic, which means it has only one form. Everywhere there's a number, that means we have an acidic side chain. So this is an acidic side chain, and this is an acidic side chain. And everywhere you have a number with a tiny little C, that means you have a basic side chain. So we should make some notes about that. A dash means that the side chain is neither acidic nor basic. A number by itself means an acidic side chain. And a number with a tiny little superscript C means a basic side chain. So what type of side chain does valine have? Acidic, basic, or neither? Neither. Good. What type of side chain does uh, glutamic acid have? Glutamic acid. Uh, is acidic. Of course, you can tell that from the name, oh, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. What type of side chain does histidine have? Histidine would be basic. Because it's got the tiny little C. So what type of side chain does tyrosine have? It's acidic. Right. Does that mean that it wants to, it could possibly gain a proton or lose a proton? It would lose it. It might lose a proton. Which proton do you think it might lose? Okay. That's right. And then this would be an O minus. Right. Okay. Well then, this has two different forms. This has two different forms, and this has two different forms. How can we tell what's the correct form to draw? Well, it depends on the pH. If the pH is very low, would we expect everybody to be protonated or deprotonated? If the pH is very low. We would be protonated. That's right. An acidic solution protonates everybody. Mm -hmm. And what about if the pH was very high? Deprotonated. But what about if the pH is moderate? Well, maybe some things will be protonated and some things won't. Mm -hmm. So low pH protonates things, high pH deprotonates things. Low pH protonates things, and high pH deprotonates things. But how can we tell whether the pH is low or high? There has to be some comparison number. We can compare that to. Well, the comparison number is the pKa. If the pH is lower than the pKa, that counts as low. And if the pH is higher than the pKa, that counts as high. How do we tell whether a pH is low or high for any particular functional group compare it to the pKa? But different functional groups have different pKa's. That means a pH that's low for one functional group might be high for a different functional group. So while some things might be protonated, some things might be deprotonated. Well, we have to look up all these pKa's then. So first of all, we need to look up the pKa for this nitrogen. Now we need names for these. 
This is the main chain nitrogen. This is the main chain carboxy group. And this is the side chain. Well, notice here, we have one column for the carboxy group. And we have one column for the amino group. And then we have a column for the side chain. Now, notice that the side chain has a lot of dashes, because many of the side chains are neither acidic nor basic. However, the main chain carboxy group and the main chain amino group are always acidic or basic, so they don't ever have dashes. They always have numbers. So let's see if we can work out what's the pKa for this main chain nitrogen for tyrosine. 2.2. I'm sorry, you said nitrogen is not one. Oh, yeah. And what's the pKa for the main chain carboxy group? Oh, sorry, 2.2. That's right. Good. And what's the pKa for the side chain? 10.1. Good. You can see that this column is called alpha carboxy, because it's the carboxy group attached to the alpha carbon. And this is called alpha amino, because it's the amino attached to the alpha carbon. And the last column is called R, which stands for the side chain. Now let's say we had a pH of 5. Well, is that a low pH for this functional group? Yes. So should this be protonated or deprotonated? Protonated. So is this the right form? Yes. No, sorry. And the important thing is it would be H3 with a plus. Mm -hmm. So this would be the correct form. Good. Well, let's continue. What's the correct form for this? That should be an O minus. Because this is a high pH relative to here. This is the idea I was saying a second ago. Whether a pH is high or low can be different for different functional groups. This is a low pH compared to this pKa. But this is a high pH compared to this pKa. So this group was protonated, but this group is deprotonated. And that gives us a negative charge. Now, what's going to happen up here? It's going to remain protonated. Good. This is a low pH relative to this pKa. Right. So will this end up positive, negative, or neutral? Oh, sorry. A positive. Wait, it's just going to be protonated. Now, so is this the correct form, or do I need to change it? That is neutral, so you need to add an H. Now, let's hold up for a second. Did we expect this to be an acidic or a basic side chain? How can we tell? Remember, we tell by looking to see if there's a little C in the column. So if you looked at that pKa for tyrosine, there's no little C. So is this an acidic or a basic side chain? Neither. Uh, looks like we better go back and review that. If there's a dash, then it's neither acidic nor basic. Okay, so we expected it to be acidic. Right. Does that mean that it wants to gain or lose a proton? It wants to gain a proton. Take your time. Acidic. What do acids do? Oh my gosh, it's been a long day. Acids donate protons. Right. After all, here's hydrochloric acid. Well, you wouldn't expect hydrochloric acid to gain a proton. This doesn't happen. It loses a proton. Acids are things that want to lose protons. That's been a long day for me, too. So um, is this going to want to gain or lose a proton? Right. So, that, so we, I, we should have gone over this before. What are the two possible forms for this side chain? One possible form is like this. And the other possible form is like this. Now, the way we're getting confused is I think you might have thought that one of the possible forms I think he thought one of the possible forms looked like this. But no, because that would only be the case if this was basic. If it was a base, it would have the potential to gain an additional proton. But that would only happen if there was that little c in the column. This is why it's so important to check for the little c or not, because otherwise you can't tell what the two possible forms are. You can't tell whether the thing would get the other form by gaining or losing a proton. So this is not a form that we have to worry about for tyrosine. When we looked up this pKa, there was no little c. That means this is an acidic side chain. That means the way to get the alternative form is to lose a proton, like this. Now we have to decide 
based on this pH, is this a low or a high pH for this side chain? A low pH. Low? So should it be protonated or deprotonated? Deprotonated. Take your time. That's right. I think that was clear to you. You got that right down here. Why does a low pH protonate things? Because that means there's tons of protons around. A low pH means there's lots of protons around, so that everything's going to get protonated. So let's go through the logic again. So do we expect this to get protonated or not? It would be protonated. And then does it end up negative, positive, or neutral? After it's protonated, it ends up neutral. Because this is the protonated form. Right. Right. You don't want to start, you don't want to start adding a proton that's put in OH2+. That's just not one of the possible forms. The only possible, this is the deprotonated form and this is the protonated form. These are our only choices on the menu. 